two holes for the side. Now, let's see what Smith can do on the final time we shall ever see him on the small ship. Going in hard from the first day, that's for sure. Dave Reese, the referee from Shrewsbury, taking over now as third man. Nicely, that hammer by Chad Weasel. He dresses funny. He comes into the ring in a very funny way, often steps over the road. But one thing is for sure, he's got some wrestling skill, of course, and bounce back there. And Mick will have to watch himself. in a double wrist lock by Miss Manor. Every time I see Pat Lee, well, his beard seems to get longer with his hair. I suppose it's reasonable if you don't cut either. No authentic hole there, just a pace bar with the McManus left arm caught in a semi wrist leader on the way. Most unusual, unorthodox hole by that reason. Allowing McManus to count over the backhand and the opposite arm leader. And it's a go in the first arm of the very near the first pin pole from the Spanish on a cross play. As usual, the Spanish leaning at the ref to start punching the pin pole. But each time, Seth Weasel gets the left shoulder bait off quite happily. And before he got up, Thirty seconds to go now, in the first round, three minute round from that one. And a semi Japanese trying to hold the McMahon. He's got a reach down here, he's giving away quite a bit of weight. From 12, 7 to 42 stone he's giving away here, that reason. Let's take a look at Sir Cat Weasel first. This boy from Doncaster, real name Gary Cooper, <laughs> which is probably one of the reasons why he's got a ring name of Cat Weasel. A great comedian, but what so many people forget is when he's finished with his comedy and he enters the ring, he turns out to be a very skillful wrestler in this. Turned pro in 1970, four times. Second line, round two. On two, five to go. McManus in his usual dark blue strip with a red strike on the side. Comes in again at the start of this second round. Quite determined to win his uh, final contest, of course, McManus. But it's not going to be easy for him, giving away too strong. Now to round the back. From the front, the back hammer held on, double wrist lock there. It's a bite. Up on the ropes, he can never could with this guy. Yes, well, there he goes again, but legal that time, no ropes near. Oh, 
Well, he reached down very deliberately there, uh, had Hazel for that uh, mechanic left leg. He's leading down to a mind mechanic who's in charge now. Straight out the lift is on. Uh, Mitch is going to have some problems here this afternoon. No question. Half a minute left. Uh, so that's something he does not. He does, does it a lot himself, but he doesn't like what he's done to it. Headlock and triangle by McManus, but uh, we have to turn his man a bit sharpish because there are six seconds to go. Well, let's have a look at Nick McManus in his corner. This man who people are used to seeing with his uh, Napoleon hairstyle and his ball action forearm smashes. A legendary figure in personal wrestling. Maybe not always popular the man. Some people like, some people hate, but everybody likes to hate. Second one, round three. And four rounds to go. We start in the third round, no score. Two falls to the side of the country. That man is in the usual blue gear. Giving away two stones to Don Pesci, that is all. He's doing all right for a moment with that arm. Lever has got a submission immediately. In just 25 seconds gone, that Weasel gets the first submission. And farewell appearance or not, the crowd here seems pretty happy with that. And 25 seconds is long too. The first submission goes to Cap Weasel. Cap Weasel. So, he just weight neatly, got his arm lever beautifully over the shoulder against the joint, lifted McManus from it, and it was all over. McManus decided, I must submit from that or be in real trouble. Second going round four. Well, McManus does not like trailing, and he, although his man is much heavier than he is, he generally will come back with those short-range jabs to the face that cause so much trouble. And that could have been a punch. The referee thinks so, but wasn't sure. The crowd is sure. Yeah, nice throw from the head. And Jamie put the other leg, holding fast, the other four, but the other rope. Very near the road. And so McManus balanced but And McManus is using the road to balance himself. And the referee spotted that and broke him up. Dive up to the head. Oh, nice one. Yeah. It's, it's a good punch, though. Oh, I didn't know. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee gives the first ever warning to Mick McManus. Well, he's been getting them for many years and it made too much difference to him. Very seldom gets disqualified. So you never get more than two public warnings. But I wouldn't have thought that was a punch. I thought that was a head turn move of one of Mick's favorites. It didn't look like a fish landed to me, but the referee is right there, and he knows what he's doing with that.
Double-handed with the other one. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, nice. Put him off the flow in. Just put him off the mark. Distracted his attention there. And a minute to go. He followed up with two quickly. So McManus in trouble at the moment. Public warning against him and trailing by one submission call. Pull on driver. Oh, can be real quick. Always used to hate that hole in that. Yeah, and that's why they all go for it, of course. Just about 10 seconds left now, the fourth. <laughs> Trying to turn his man around with his back to the rest to get some inside move in there. But he hasn't got the time on that occasion. The bell says, that was quite easily up from it. I don't quite know what uh, put him down. It was a sort of head roll, really. Anyway, two rounds to go. Second round, round five. That Weasel with his quite horizontal strike gear, his long voice and Doncaster there. there. Leading Mac McManus on his final appearance in the wrestling ring by one submission to nil and lift him in a full Nelson. He only wants one more score. And McManus, remember, has one public warning against him already. Dave Reed for rest, watching very, very closely. It may be his last bout in the ring, but he's not going to get away with any of that. Stop the few Getting away with the throw off. Inside him. That was the code match set, of course, and that was the code match set. He balances on the top corner post, but fell off to the post. Of Mr. Nicely sidestep by McManus there, and out goes that weasel. Now, what sort of a landing is he have? Better hurry. Seven, eight. Three back. He's going to swing for that head weak or left leg now. Right on the side of the left knee. He knows he's weakened it. Now he's going for the left knee altogether. A single leg Boston. And probably a submission here if he can do it. He's got it. There's the equalizer. And it just took McManus. One minute, 40 seconds to get that easy equalizing submission in round five. And one minute, 40 seconds in round five. Equalizing submission goes to Mick McManus. So McManus back in with a chance now that he's equalized and one round to go. He's got to get the winner in the next three minutes of wrestling. Can he do it? Second round for the sixth and final round. One submission each. One public warning against McManus on the left there, waiting for his man to come in the center of the ring. And of course, that Weasel's left leg worrying him now after that three pass. And McManus will obviously go straight for it if he can. And yes, some more. More weakness to that left knee. And again he's got it. Now can he get that? Single leg Boston once more. Oh, yeah. Well, he's got him off this time, all right. Just as looked as though McManus is going to get the winner from another single leg Boston. Right leg apparently all right. Oh. 
two minutes left in this ball time. The last two minutes we shall ever see the great legendary Mick McManus in the professional wrestling ring. Can he get the winner during this time? The man whose highlight, of course, is in front of uh, His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh at the Albert Hall. I remember that evening so well. And I think probably a man who's fought practically every wrestler in a game of his own weight and a weight above. And even he fought George Kidd a couple of times to, in a way to love. So he really has a tremendous experience this man. Most of the And the step over toe hold. Still one for lead, so one for missing four lead. And he won't get a submission or a pinfall from there. And he's only got one minute now. If he's going to win his final bout. And the headbutt to the back of the head. That's the big point. Going to the left leg again. Just pull it on the way. Half a minute left, the last 30 seconds for McManus's winning fall if he's going to get it. For an ankle. Unfortunately for Pat Weasel, he just got out of that. He's only got 12 seconds. He's got to really hurry now. Going to the left leg again, another submission is on. Can he get it? He's got the leg. Four seconds. Three, two, one, and he hasn't solved. He hasn't made it. I may not like McManus's uh, rule-bending style, but I would have loved him to win that final bout. So it's a draw. And he will probably get the final 10-bell count at the end of his final match. Despite the Ladies and gentlemen, both wrestlers gain long suffering to see the referee's decision is a draw. There he goes, Mick McManus, his last bout, a draw. And terrible, really, to think we'll never see that man again in the ring on television or not. But we'll take a break right now, but in a moment or two, we hope to be talking to Mick McManus. Hey, what is it? Really nice. In fact, I think that's really nice. Well, we've got something for you to enjoy now. I love that thing. And uh, let me do the honour. Well, despite all that applause, they still love to hate you, don't they? Yeah, with a good reception. Mind you, they're, they're not fair. They've always had to be a good reception. They haven't met this manner to be brought back into the ring. It's hardly when I first started watching, I wasn't bad guys at all. I just didn't know what I did and what I did for the last thing. But it's really sweet, you know, that sense. I have people in the back of the band again, and getting away with it. And uh, I think it's the same thing as well as the fan base is there, and it's so sweet. And it's really nice to see the fan base is there, and it's so sweet. And it's so sweet. So I started sort of taking advantage of the people and that combined with my natural energy and my type of wrestling that you know, it's so good stuff and it's a lot better. All that wrestling up and down the country all over the world mm -hmm. involves a lot of traveling. I think, I've worked on it like that, I've worked it out the other day, I think it's around about a million miles. 
That's a concern, but that's what you want to do. Longer to that, must be something you've got to do. Uh, no, not really. I think um, the only time I like studying now is when I go on holidays. You, you know, you lose the best of that in the house. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, because when you're studying in the Western thing, you're going to suffer the time. You can't keep the pressure of the time. Maybe it's easier to be punctual, but uh, it's really, you know, it's a million miles from that. Really. Well, you're interested in the other side of the world. It's very varied, aren't they? You like all sorts of sports. You play charity, cricket, and yeah. golf, and then yeah. too. Yeah, I, I started, matter of fact, I started the antique business some years ago when, uh, when I wasn't too busy wrestling. And um, I used to sort of travel around the country, I'd work a few of this sort of calling in uh, different shops and uh, buy one or two bits and pieces and buy my cups, buy my clothes. I finished up with a shop actually in, uh, in London and uh, I liked it, it was very good, but because the wrestling got very busy then with the television and um, I decided, to, you know, you can't just put the clothes on the food, so... I said the rest of you aren't going to say it, but I'm not going to say it, but uh, uh, you're going to say it all in the world. Must be really a time to look back there uh, at the moment, and I think it's been a very funny moment over 30 years. Yeah, we've been funny moments and funny moments in the business. I'd say the most embarrassing funny moment I had there. Because it wasn't that fast, you know, it hadn't been many years ago, and I got there a bit late, and I was just stuck in my phone, and I rushed around and got the stage, and we used to wear long gowns in those days, and I got up in the room, and now I'm doing what I'm doing, and I'm doing what I'm doing, and I'm doing what I'm doing, I got up in the room, and now I'm doing what I'm doing, and 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 i am and um, also finish when you're in the region we did miss. And um, it's a basic thing I see when we're going to take a bit of a drag and not the shore these days. And uh, yeah, I love to do that. It's lovely after they finish when, when, when I want to do it. Here's a question is, what now for Mick McManus? Well, I, you know, I still stay in the wrestling business. I've been in the whole in the wrestling business all my working life. And um, I still stay in the wrestling business. I've been in the wrestling business. Although I'm not sure I can't have the physical side of it, I'll do the physical side of it. It's time for one last uh, last note. I'll try and uh, call you champagne, Rebecca. Thank you very much, 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 Rebecca. Now he's just as horrible outside as he is in, as a matter of fact, and I've got to play golf with him on Monday. I hope he's on my side at least. Now I must, uh, because he is watching, I'm sure he's watching, uh, he's a good son of ours, it's a world of sport and we all wish him a very happy and active family, and I hope we're doing good next on Monday night. He was talking there to Dennis Pace of Central Television. Well let's move on to the